Is it? Is it still there? Oh, it is. Of course it is, because we haven't gotten it finished yet. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, yes, I have been having some issues with this thing, and I think I know what the main reason is. There's a couple of issues that are going on with this thing. Uh, let's get over here. Uh, this jetpack cover's got to be a little bit faster. But, we look at the center of mass. Now, the center of the mass on the leg here, it's right here. It's only five tons, but it's probably a good 20 feet, 25 feet from the, the center point here. So, because it's trying to lift up so much weight, it needs a lot more power. It's probably equivalent of 50 or 60 tons. I'm not doing the math. I'm not a mathematician. I haven't graduated. I'm just a guy who plays video games. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely what's going on there. Uh, another thing I'm thinking about too is I'm wondering if maybe the game can't figure out what it's supposed to be doing. Because technically I have multiple grids on different axes here. I have the main frame here, which is holding everything together. You have this section, which is doing a left and right. And, or sorry, uh, this section here, which is doing an up and down, and this side doing a left and right. So maybe the game doesn't know what it's supposed to be doing. I have been thinking about trying possibly suspensions on the feet for, uh, you know, a little bit of wiggle room, you can call it. Just give it some, uh, sort of like some flex in the legs because of the fact I have all this like tied right in. There is no, no movement. It's solid. Uh, but I'm pretty sure what I have to do to get this thing working is I got to make the legs smaller. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come out a little bit and have them sort of go up and down a little bit. Well, going to be a little a little stubby on the legs um, but another issue I'm thinking is maybe it won't actually be able to lift itself up so uh, I'm going to try with sh smaller legs uh, what I'm going to do too to counteract the, the displacement of the center mass is I do have room to place some weight here so I can I did not mean to do that let's get back in here uh, get some lights so we can actually see what we're doing but I have room here. I can actually place blocks here. So if I put some uh, short inner walls there, they're actually a little a little bit heavier than just seven blocks. So do that. And then if I go on the back side here where the leg is, I have all this room to actually take out or to place like a ceiling tile or two. Uh, I have thought of the possibility of re just removing these. Uh, we'll try that after the counterweight just to see if because I don't know if these are actually needed since I, have, since I have the other hover pads there. But that would definitely take off a lot of weight here. Uh, as far as the frame goes, got so many batteries. But yet, all those batteries would still be heavy, still be lighter than the generators it would take to run this thing. But with that being said, let's go ahead and try one leg. Now, we could do it this the fun way or the boring way. Let's do this the fun way. You ever pull a leg off a spider? That's some leg. Definite some leg. Okay. I'm going to go clean that up because I don't like leaving parts on the ground. I usually, usually just start at one end and work my way in, but I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So as you can see, I made it a little bit shorter. So, sort of try to keep the same curvature. I uh, can't remember what I did there, but here I actually went down to the, the slopes, so it's a little bit lighter. But you see the center of the mass, so this one is here. This one moved all the way back here. It's 1,300 pounds lighter, or kilos, or whatever we're using here. I think it's kilos. But the center of mass is all the way back here. Uh, it's also including the hover pads and this uh, axle, we'll call it. So now let's do a bit of a test, see if this will actually move. Uh, I'm just going to worry about the up and down right now. So I will unlock this manually. Uh, let's actually do this one here. Do that one, unlock that. Get this out so I can actually see what I'm doing here. It's like Vegas. Vegas has got nothing on my build vision. All right, and there we go. So it drops. So now we just go ahead and manually hook it up and see what happens. 
This is actually going to move everything, but it's all locked. It's okay. Uh, let's see. We're going up. So we want red. Aha. So it moves up. So we disconnect that. So now let's get some counterweight in here. Like ideally, I'd like to get some short inner walls in here if I can. Right in here. It's going to be too long though. So we'll just put some small blocks. And we'll just do get two of them down here. Ah, got it. Just do something like that. Yeah, we should be okay with that. We do not get too much movement. Now let's go check on that center mass and see how that's doing. Because I can always put some more where the hover pads are. See it now moved over here. It's a little bit heavier. But I figure if we just put a, a line of blocks here, we should be good. We'll do it on the top and bottom. Uh, the reason why I can place here is the if you don't know, the hover pads need a one block space on the front and back, even though they're a two by three. Uh, same with the air blades too. So you have trouble placing them if you're placing them off grid. Like, I sh to give you an example, I shouldn't have a problem actually snapping there. And that's because this hover pad is on a completely separate grid than here. So it's, uh, it's kind of a way to cheat. But anyway, so uh, let's get the other 15 blocks in here, or 8, give it another shot, and then, uh, and then I'll try all 8 legs, do all the other 7 legs off camera, and then see if it works, but I have a feeling it's not going to be able to lift itself up, so uh, I have a, a plan for that, let's get build vision off so I can actually see what's going on here, let's grab that extension cord and up we go not quite again it's right here realistically it should be over more uh, see I can put some more weight on the bottom can't really do anything else here uh, let me see if I can figure something out and I'll bring you back and see if I got something Okay, I got something here. Uh, I had to shorten the leg a little bit because uh, it wasn't actually going up high enough. But if I go ahead and switch it on, it lifts up no problem. It actually goes above the frame. And I switch it off and it goes down. So when it gets power to go down, it's actually going to be able to push push down and hopefully lift this up. Uh, I did have to add some counterweight. Let's uh, check our center of mass here and see where it's moved. So it's right here now. And it was all the way out there. But we move it in, it is actually the same weight, still five tons. So that's that's leverage for you. But as you can see, the counterweight I had to put on here, I had to take part of the back wall out and sneak a ceiling tile, some blocks, some more blocks, and it was just enough. So now I'm going to do the other seven seven legs, and then uh, of course I'll, I've got this saved. I'm going to do another save after I do the other seven, which shouldn't take me too long I just trimmed up a little bit and then that was it actually no I rebuilt the whole thing but that won't take me long to do and then uh, we'll see if it'll walk if not like I said I got a little little secret down below that might help me out here and it's not gonna be air blades this time you are probably already know what it is but we'll see all right well that didn't take too long at all uh, I got all the counterweights in I shortened the legs I checked the center of mass everything is good Wow now if you only get these lights to change, start changing color, we could have a disco in here. Uh, but yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tr try dropping this a little differently this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this one up. Because uh, right now, none of them are actually technically touching the ground when it drops. So we shouldn't have any problems. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this one up, and then I'm going to lock it in place while we drop it. Up you go. Wrong one. Uh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, I switched it off. That's right. Uh, I actually turned it off. 
There we go. I know what I'm doing, I swear. I built this thing, don't forget. Alright. Lock that. I'll turn that off now. Wow, that's a lot of force. I'm going to lock the other one. Uh, let's turn that back on. Yeah. Uh, uh, I haven't had anything go wrong in a while. Let's just hope it's not today. So far, this one's been been pretty good. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to do a quick save. This is going to be save file number 2. 10 on this build in case you're wondering and the reason for that is just in case just in case I need a rollback you know I can't just alternate between two save files because I might get confused on which file I'm actually looking for so this is ELM 10 and ELM is an eight-legged monstrosity and now you start to see why all right so down we go good thing nothing breaks it's dead Jim Alright, let's, uh, let's unlock this on camera because something might not go right here. Um, something will not go right. It didn't take as long to load it. Alright, so go ahead and unlock absolutely everything. And I see something moving behind me. Uh, I built it, so I'm kind of worried. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it worked out. I think it's because that center mass has moved over so much. All right, and we are almost done. A couple more twitching legs. It's coming to life. And that should be it. Go through and yeah. All right, let's get out of here before this thing starts to dancing all right well let's see if this thing will actually stand up if not like i said i do have a trick up my sleeve uh what are we doing here oh yeah we turn uh, this one on and then we turn that on and see what happens doing the third person here my legs are moving, but it's just not enough to lift it. Why they're twitching? I have no idea. I want to see if I can stop that. See if we can lock it quickly. Yeah, now that thing's sped up. Yeah, look at her go. Alright, I'll turn you off. If I can. No, I can't. Um, hmm. Stop. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> now you can go. And of course you won't. Turn one of these off, too. It's all about timing. But yeah, this ain't gonna lift. It'll move. It's got a bit of a twitch. Uh, let's try one thing here. First of all, let's turn this on, off. Okay, it's off, good. I don't know what's going on over there. Let's go investigate quickly. But anyways, yeah, like I said, it's not lifting itself, so... Okay, it stopped. So, and that means we're going to get a, a whole bunch more hover pads. I think we have enough power to go to stabilize a few dozen more. And it's just enough to, for something to float on and it can use its own legs to sort of drag its belly across the ground. We'll give it a shot. All right, well, it seems I'm having my a typical day. Uh, I apparently missed a whole bunch of recording. Uh, decided to put, I think it was 
good 60 hover pads on the bottom to try to get it to lift. It didn't lift enough. It was sort of moving. So I had to, of course, uh, ramp it up a little bit. I think I, I think the terminal said I added another 111. Uh, minus the ones I've deleted, I think there's at least over 400. Like the ones I've replaced and removed and placed again. But that is the build vision. <laughs> it is quite something. Uh, I haven't seen this much color in a while. It's almost like Christmas. Christmas or Vegas. I'm going to go with Christmas on this one because that's coming up soon. But sadly, this is this is going to be the last time I touch this thing. I've had to re redo the legs and the counterweights. Uh, this is the third time now I've had to do these things because the save just doesn't like it. I'm in the new Unity, but that leg right there was freaking out. Like, seriously freaking out to the point where it was crashing the game. I tried that special dev build I had that's actually a couple of versions old. It did a little bit better, but it still did not handle it. Uh, it was crashing me instantly. I could not do anything. I am basically... We're at the point of no return here. I have saved it just in case there's something we can do down in the future. Uh, I was actually... I had to, I forgot to check to see how many... If I have enough batteries, I did add a whole bunch more. But I want to... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's over here. I just want to connect the power to everything, make sure that everything can be running at the same time. Good. That's all I care about. Okay. So now we get build vision off. And then we go pull the plug. The planty stick. Alright, let's see. We're going to take all three out before it hits the ground. Okay, this is it. This is going to be it. Maybe I'll do a save right here just in case because every time I've loaded it, it's always been up in the air. So hang on. And now for the moment of truth. First, first, got to go to the little box of lag here. The terminal leg, we'll call it. Yes, we'll call it the terminal leg. This is why I never put this this thing on my creations. I usually have so many parts. Uh, right now, it's dealing with probably 12, 1300 different parts right now. So, go into rotating plates. We'll start unlocking everything. Well, octave blocks. And start doing this. I can already see movement, and I know it scares the living daylights out of me, especially when it's happening right behind me. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Yes, there really should be like a grouping to lock and unlock everything in one group at one time. Okay, and that is it. That is... We are the last... Last point, I did add some controls here, and I said this in the last clip that I didn't actually record, and I pray to God I'm recording now, because uh, I can't load this back up and spend another hour rebuilding this thing again, but that's a lot of hover pads. Okay, oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to tighten this a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see, that's got to be turned on. It is all connected. Good. That, that turns on, that turns on, because that's all controlled up here. Now, let's see if it actually lifts up. I can't tell if it is or not. Let's get down to ground level and have a look. Still not enough. Everything is grounded, or on hover mode. Well, let's see if I can actually move them. Yeah, like I said, at this point, I... I <laughs> really don't want to be going through this again. And there you go. It's just too heavy. Oh. Oh, geez, we almost have some movement here. 
Uh, is there anything I can do without having to rebuild this thing? Can't really sneak any more hover pads on. That's actually... Aside from tap dancing. <laughs> what else can I do here? Actually, I wonder if I can throw some hover pads on the end here. Well, it's got its leg up in the air. Come on, stay, stay. Come on, you. And, I, where's the power? Yeah, I... It has potential, like... Why is that side not lifting up? It's almost working. Hmm. Let me ponder this a moment. Well, it's moving, just not the way I want it to move. Uh, I tried to shave off a bunch of weight off of those, and it's. It's not quite enough. Like realistically, I probably... I don't know, that's a lot of hover pads. And this thing can't be that that heavy anymore. I shaved so much weight off of it. Mm, 13 times... 804 plus the main is... Alright, it's 108 times. It's, it's still a little heavy. Why is that 80 tons of, oh yeah, all those extra batteries I put on there. Well, unfortunately this was yet another failure. Uh, I do, oh, that's my problem right there, I have one hover pad not working. Of course that's the problem. Uh, let's put this one over here. It is sort of moving. Maybe got a few more that are missing. I'm going to be surprised. Oh my god, I'm lost in here. Hey, it's doing a crab walk. Come on, do it again. Do it again. It's that bum leg over there giving you a problem again, isn't it? It's almost like there's not enough, like it's unbalanced on this side. Maybe something's not turned on. Or maybe I'm just asking way too much of this game, considering the fact that this has crashed on me so many times already. And probably a good way to end the episode is by breaking the game. Uh, oh, and I got stuck again. Now, if your house spreads legs and starts trying to walk like this, run away very fast. But anyways, that's the end the episode with a ga uh, game break. Okay, let's see what happens. Give it a few seconds here. <laughs> it crashed so bad I didn't even get a screen. Beautiful. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode and this project. Uh, thank you all for watching. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. And uh, I'll try to visit this one in the future. All right, later.